Angel One, immediate launch. SIG. Hi guys, how you doing? Jairus here. Uh, many, many years ago, I made this model. Ta -da! It's um, the Angel Interceptor aircraft from the TV series, The Captain Scarlet, uh, which was from the ooh, early 70s, I suppose. And I loved that TV series when I was a kid. And I particularly, Lily, 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 loved this thing, the actual Angel Interceptor. And um, I've always loved this aircraft. It is a, a marvellous looking thing, as you can see. Um, so I thought I'd build it. I thought I'd build a, a Captain Scarlet themed model. And I chose this because I lo love this thing. And uh, I remember building these uh, when I was a kid. And um, I just thought the design of these are absolutely fantastic. Uh, and I made a, a little d display. A vignette, as uh, Cohen would say, and uh, it, uh, it went on the YouTube, and that's been done pretty well over the years uh, in views and things of that that sort, you know. Um, anyway, the, the thing is, most of the questions I get off that particular video isn't always about the actual aircraft; it's about the base. Um, and I thought, you know, I'll just do a quick video about how I made the base. Now as you saw in the clip before, this little bit here, um, the snatch of video that we did, um, it's from the TV show and it shows the aircraft actually taking off from an aircraft carrier which is actually in the air. It's actually an aircraft carrier floating in the air uh, which is quite handy for airplanes and things. And um, Let's have a look at the base. This is the base I did. It's just an old piece of wood. Uh, a bit scratched up now, actually, and I put a Captain Scarlet oops, sign on there from the box, I think. I can't remember. Oh, no, I may have printed that off the internet, actually. And this is the actual runway that the uh, Angel Interceptor actually takes off. And uh, I've had so many questions, um, private um, messages and things, saying, how did you do that and all that sort of thing. Well, it's quite easy, actually. I used Lego. That's right, Lego. You may have guessed that from the title of this video, but uh, this is a Lego piece. Now, I've added a few bits on there. I've added some... Uh, uh, this is vinyl tape cut to strips just to make it more to stand out more and be more like the TV show where you've got more uh, colour and variation. But this is actually an old Lego base that you used to make your, uh, put all your Lego models on top of in the 80s. Uh, let me show you one. Let's just put that over to the one side there, get that over there. Uh, uh, ah, then he dropped it. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, these is what I'm talking about and um, many of you may remember these uh, and they're just Lego bases and you can see where you can put the Lego Eclipse into these uh, but you've got this part here now let me try and pick it up because I've put it down it's flat and there we go and as you can see it's got these it's really a road but because it's got these uh, stri striations is that, is that the word or markings it does look a bit like a runway, so when you put an aircraft on there, let's put this one on back on there, that and that, you weather it up the way you want it to be. It's fantastic for an aircraft, you know. You don't need to put other things on there. You could weather the uh, runway a bit and make it a bit dirty and all that sort of thing. But it does, you know. I mean, all I did at, at the end of the day, I actually cut, used a very sharp knife and rule and cut, down here to get rid of these Lego things. I can't remember the name. Studs. We'll call them studs. Uh, and so you end up with. Let's see if, if I've got one somewhere. Here we go. Here's another one from another base that I bought. You can buy these bases quite cheaply on eBay. There are people selling selling them for an absolute arm and a leg. But ignore those. Uh, here's one here, for instance. 
and uh, you know it looks it, look, it looks absolutely brilliant I think uh, you could put where's that aircraft gone angel interceptor you can put that there and it looks cool um, and you just cut cut them uh, simple as that so you just take a knife now this one I did a little bit earlier and it's it is a little bit rough along the edge so you just take a, a file and sand those parts down but as you can see it's a lego base from the 80s and there's loads more let's see what else we got we got uh, these one more that i've cut out uh, these are just roadways um simple as that so you can put a let's see now put a car on there like that oh, that's a rather large car but uh you, you can see where i'm going uh here's a little a little car and it looks cool and you can weather up the roadway of course um, but the ooh, <laughs> the best ones are these ones let's see if i'll get some down here here we go uh this one's rather yellowed but that's a that's actually not a bad thing um but uh, that's how i did it really just cut along there cut along there don't have to press down too hard just keep cutting along the ruler m b blade sort of thing and then it breaks. Uh, <laughs> I wish I'd put that. Ah, I can't get up. Oh, pang. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, oh, yeah, but this one. This one's quite good. This one's a rather really old one, as you can see. Uh, and it's. Uh, it looks like a helicopter landing pad, or uh, you could put your. Um, I don't know what you could, could put, put on a spaceship, maybe, or something. But it looks absolutely superb, doesn't it? Eh? All you have to do is cut these parts off here, which I'll show you here. Here's one I've made earlier. And, uh, and there we are. It, what one sec, uh, I've got this one here. This is a... This is a uh, Ming the Merciless spaceship, or rocket ship, as they used to call it in those days, uh, from uh, Buck Rogers, the old black and white TV shows and all I did with this particular one is I painted it red rather than the usual silver put decals on for a Ferrari and made it into Ming the Merciless Merciless's sports car which looks cool and you put it in or you could put a helicopter on there or ooh, loads of things but and that's just the start you can add more things to it put a big H on on there you know you could paint on the H or use uh as i tend tend to do use tape and uh i think it looks cool um let's have a look that can go there <laughs> um but th that's how it's done uh so to answer all those questions that's how it's done well that's how i've done it anyway so lego does help modeling strangely enough um i hope that helps and um well thanks for watching and i'll see you soon Bye-bye now.